I have this question from Rebecca in Maryland. Rebecca says, I'm in the market to buy a house, but interest rates are now being quoted to me at 7.4 to 7.6%. Should I buy or should I keep renting? Uh, it's a really interesting question, and uh, the answer is uh, twofold. One, it depends on where you're buying this house at. So if you buy a house in an area where prices haven't accelerated so much that it's unaffordable, it might still be a good idea. Yes, you're paying 7% in interest, but remember, not too long ago, uh, 10 years ago, 7%, 8% was normal interest. Interest rates have gotten as high as 18 to 20% in the past. So although it's much higher today than it was in the past, the fact is most household wealth is developed from real estate, from their home that they buy. If you wanna get on the path to developing wealth, it might still be a good idea, even though interest rates are between seven and 8%. Let me tell you a few reasons why. Most of the time, depending on the money that you're gonna spend on the house, up to a million bucks, the interest is tax deductible. So it's really not costing you 7%, even though the interest is 7%, because you're saving, you're getting an income tax deduction. So that 7% in real dollars after your income tax deduction might truly only be costing you six and a half, 6.4, something like that. So that's one reason. The second reason is, well, your, your home might appreciate seven to 8% a year or more. And if it does that, you're breaking even on the interest rate you're spending and the asset value growth. So there's still a lot of value in home ownership, even at seven or 8% rates. It could still be a very good idea to buy in this marketplace. Rebecca, I hope that helps. And if anyone has a question, I'd love to answer it for you. Text me, message me, or put it in the comments. And I look forward to helping you on your path to financial freedom. I'm Charles Trular. Follow me for more.